So today is Wednesday, which means that today is seasonal challenge reset day. So in today's video, I will be breaking down season two, week four of the seasonal challenges and the fastest way to get them done. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video because I am going to be talking about a little something, but let's waste no more time and let's get into solo challenge number one. Now for solo challenge number one, it says in La Cruz without the HUD displayed, use a vehicle turret to kill Santa Blanca soldiers. Now to start this off, you're going to want to make your way over to La Cruz to the San Rodrigo Monastery. Now I chose this specific location over all of the other ones for two specific reasons. One of those being because I am just extremely lazy when it comes to traveling. So I fast traveled all the way to La Cruz Bravo, which is literally right next door of the San Rodrigo Monastery. And the second reason you'll see in a few seconds. Now, once you've made your way over here, the most important thing that you want to remember is that your HUD is turned off. If you do not have your HUD turned off, then this is not going to work now once you've gotten here if your vehicle drop off is level two then go ahead and call in an armored suv if it's not then you're kind of just going to want to get one which honestly is not that hard there's always rebel driving around that have the machine gun on the back of the pickup truck once you've gotten the vehicle just go ahead and pull in swap over to the gunner and just start lighting up the entire monastery try your best not to be a dummy like me and pull all the way in because i almost literally died so i would recommend backing up a little bit and letting them come out of the monastery but once once you've done that and you've gotten all of the kills then you will have completed challenge one now for challenge number two this is the reason why i love this location you're gonna fast travel back to la cruz bravo and then make your way back over to the san rodrigo monastery now for this challenge it's literally as simple as open rebel prisons in la cruz that's literally all we have to do and the beautiful thing about this location is that there is a endless amount of prisons right behind the monastery which is why i love this location for this week's seasonal challenge now, once you've let out all of the prisoners, you will have completed the solo challenge number two. So now let's make our way into the final challenge, which is in La Cruz, kill several Santa Blanca snipers within a one second time frame. Now, honestly, I'm not going to lie. This one was an absolute pain in my ass. But what you're going to want to do is in La Cruz, you're going to want to go ahead and make your way over to La Cruz base. Now, for this challenge, there is two ways that this challenge can be done. Now, you can stealth your way into the base and kind of drop c4s in certain areas of the sniper post and then blow them up simultaneously that way or you can do it the absolutely lazy and ridiculous way that i did it <laughs> you're gonna want to go ahead and get yourself an armored vehicle and drive around from each sniper post and just go ahead and grab the snipers and stick them into the vehicle now once you've gone around the base and you've gathered up three of the snipers just go ahead and drop a c4 or a frag grenade on it and boom you have now completed the seasonal challenge challenges for week four season two now this week's reward was the caiman's t-shirt if i'm not mistaken this was a reward within season one if i'm not actually mistaken i think it was week two season one of course i may be wrong there but i'm sure someone will correct me down in the comments below i mean i guess the shirt's pretty cool it's kind of basic all of the t-shirts kind of have the same concept it's a gray t-shirt with a design slapped in the middle so they're all kind of similar uh, so it's not really that amazing for me i really like when they introduce new weapons that's usually my thing and when I say new weapons I mean like new variants and stuff I obviously know that they don't add new weapons all the time but yeah like always guys if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all types of wildlands content now if you're still watching the video till this point I'm gonna assume that you're one of my loyal subscribers so I know a lot of you have been asking me to do a new Q&A because I attempted to do one during a live stream the other day but it kind of didn't turn into a QA, and a it turned into us Easter egg hunting again so with Within the next few days here, I want to make a Q&A video, so go ahead and leave me your questions down in the comments below, and I will answer them in my Q&A video coming maybe within the next two or three days. You guys can feel free to ask me whatever you want. It, there's literally no boundaries, so I'm looking forward to seeing all of your questions, but other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.